Hello and welcome to my video prepared for introducing ASP.NET Signal R to you. My name is Mehran Tahrimut and I want to quickly show you the very first thing you need to know about this powerful library. Signal R is an open source project started by Microsoft engineers as a separate project and after it widely used by many people, it became an official part of ASP.NET. Before starting to work with this library, it's good to know what is it and why it's a great help to improve your projects. SignalR is made for adding real-time messaging to your applications. It supports a wide range of client devices using HTTP protocol. Using JavaScript is the most convenient way to use SignalR in your web client-side code, even if you work with other technologies like CivilLight. SignalR is important for us because of uh, push technology. It actually let us send uh, messages from server to clients uh, simultaneously. It let us uh, build applications, for example, to show the change in prices uh, directly to all clients, or even can make a game that uh, send the game position of every game player to others. And also, you can simply make chats, uh, communication applications, or even make a common board uh, for drawing or sharing notes. And the uh, possibilities are awesome. Even you can send back the messages from a service bus to any client to notify the successful comments. Prior to SignalR, uh, developers only had two options to implement pushing uh, by using polling or simulate pushing by using some low-level techniques like uh, long polling that was uh, very hard to use. When you use polling, uh, your clients need to repeat requests uh, in a cycle to server and so they actually hit the server several times and make a big load on servers. That is why this uh, technique is not as scalable and not uh, useful for websites. There are four uh, standards and techniques to push messages and SignalR internally implemented these four. The first two options are HTML5 standards that are supported in modern browsers and the last two options are some uh, techniques to simulate pushing messages. So the SignalR internally uh, can decide based on uh, any client specific conditions, the network conditions, the web browsers and other parameters to use one of these. So if it, if, uh, it cannot uh, use web sockets, it try other options. And uh, this brings up the stability and reliability of the signal R. You can find more information in these links. Now I invite you to watch a demo to see how we can make a program and develop a system by using signal R. The first demo is the signal R sample provided by Microsoft. You need to create an empty ASP.NET project. So I name it uh, SignalR test. And uh, yeah, that, that name is not correct. Uh, SignalR sample. So I get an empty ASP.NET project that needs to uh, that is a base of uh, sample I want to get. I open NuGet Manager and search for Signal R sample. Yeah. And uh, finally, at top of list, I can find the Microsoft sample. I just install it into my empty project. And with a short delay, you get every component of the Signal R installed into your project. Now the sample 
there is an HTML file and I can run it in my browser this is a stock market simulation so uh, I want to open two browsers with different uh, browsers and then uh, I use the same address in Internet Explorer into Chrome and when I run the application you can see both clients receive messages from SignalR with the same rate instantly that is awesome this is the most famous uh, sample of SignalR now I want to show you uh, a project I already created I open it here the project uh, is simply uses uh, two things uh, signal R that is added by NuGet and web activator that let us to create an app start folder and uh, specify a class and a method to be run when you start your application and uh, here is the attribute you need to add in your class and this is uh, this attribute uh, point to the start menu that uh, simply enable routing for using uh, signal or hops You need a hop class. This class is uh, simply called whenever a client wants to call a method from server. And then uh, when the client type in something, I try to pass the character the client has uh, entered in a text box to this uh, hop. This is the HTML code and as you can see, there is a JavaScript file, I put it here. The JavaScript file uh, simply has the, uh, the code necessary and the text area is a place that users uh, try to enter their characters. The first line is uh, just uh, start a connection with the uh, signal R hub. This method is just uh, called whenever client receive a message from signal R. And uh, you can see I, I get the character and simply add it to the text box I put in the HTML code. I s refer to my text by ID. And this function uh, calls whenever uh, the hub starts and uh, it bounds an event handler right to the uh, client. And now after this demo I think uh, you have the big picture of uh, using SignalR. So uh, I just repeat the summary of all those facts. SignalR is a framework for sending real-time messages between client and server. It is an official part of ASP.NET and it supports uh, four existing push technologies uh, and selects uh, one of these uh, technologies dynamically based on the situation. And you can add SignalR to your project using NuGet and uh, if you go a bit deep in SignalR you can see that uh, you have two options for implementation using hop class and using persistent connection. I hope you find this uh, video useful. Thank you.